Hello and welcome back to my video blog. I'm State Representative Rich Workman representing District 30 here in Brevard County. Well, session's over. Ended a couple weeks ago on uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning, the 7th of May. And um, we are... Uh, Getting into our normal groove as representatives back in our, our home offices. Uh, I own a mortgage company here at Working Mortgage, and that's what I've been doing for a couple weeks. Looking forward to a couple days off with the family coming up here in the next few weeks. Had a town hall event last week. Have another town hall event in a week or two in Rockledge. Uh, hopefully you'll attend that. Look at my website for more information on upcoming town hall events. I try to get out as much as I can and meet as many people to follow up with what happens in Tallahassee. Sometimes it seems a far, far place away. Uh, we were facing about a $4 billion shortfall based on revenue uh, and um, uh, cost projections. We were able to curtail spending, kept it from increasing. Uh, our current budget remains at about $70 billion. That includes $2 billion in reserves. That includes uh, an unfortunate cut of $1.35 to education and about $2 billion more spending in Medicaid um, that, thanks to pushing down from the federal government. So. All in all, a lot of cuts, a lot of spending cuts. Um, in my mind, very positive. Obviously, that affects people's services, and a lot of people are upset. But I will tell you that in this in this day and age, with this recession, with 1.1 million people unemployed, raising taxes and fees were off the table from the very beginning. That was made clear, and I'm thankful for that. I think we set Florida up um, for success in the future. A couple things that are of interest: uh, FRS, the Florida Retirement System Pension Reform, did pass. Uh, in fact, it's on the governor's desk right now. I expect him to sign it any day now. That saved the state about $1.1 billion. Had moderate changes to the, the pension system, including 3% contribution from every employee and some other fine tuning that allowed that, um, that savings to take place. Growth management reform, another bill that I carried, also passed, also waiting on the governor's signature. Growth management reform uh, changes the way the state does growth management. Why is that important in a recession? Well, Florida was one of the few states that decided that all growth should be managed through Tallahassee. That's the wrong approach. That means businesses moving into the state had to wait two, two years and sometimes more, and certainly millions of dollars in order to, uh, to develop their land. Uh, that needs to be local decisions, and that's what we did. We reformed growth management to take that decision from Tallahassee, give it back to where it belongs, the locals and the local level. We had lots of things happening. Um, Primarily, the, the keys to the full legislature in 2011 is no new taxes, no taxes increase, no new fees, no fee increases. Um, curtailed spending, consolidated agencies, uh, reformed pension, reformed growth management. Um, and, uh, on the social level, four great bills passed that um, reformed, or excuse me, that, um, that dealt with abortion. Uh, in my mind, uh, every, uh, everything you can do to curtail the number of abortions in the state, save one baby's life, is very important, and I'm proud to say that uh, the Florida House and Senate both passed four bills dealing with abortion and uh, rights of their mothers and rights of the unborn child, and I'm thankful that that happened. One controversial one you may have heard of is requiring an ultrasound before you can get an abortion. I think that's a wise move. Um, right now, 85% of all the clinics require abortion, uh, excuse me, require uh, ultrasounds prior to an abortion, but none of them uh, offer them to the, the mother to look at, or the prospective mother. That hide-and-seek game needs to stop. If a mother changes her mind because she sees her unba unborn baby in her womb, then that's a good thing, and that's one life saved. So I'm proud of that social agenda that we had this year as well. Um, equally as proud as our, as our, uh, of our fiscal uh, agenda. A couple things I'm not happy about. We did not repeal the red light cameras. You know I voted against that last year. I voted in the House to repeal them this year. Unfortunately, that died in the Senate. That would have been a, a big win. I would have appreciated that. We did not repeal the septic tank legislation. However, we did put in a conforming law uh, uh, that no, no septic inspections would take place until a rule is passed. And I don't see that rule passing anytime soon. So we effectively put a moratorium on the septic tank legislation. I am happy about that. Um, listen, lots to be said, lots to know. So you're going to have to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you're going to have to go to my website, richworkman.com. You'll need to email me at rich at richworkman.com. You can always call my legislative office at 321-757-7019. Uh, reach out to me. Let me uh, answer your questions. Continue to watch um, myfloridahouse.gov. That's the state website. Click on there and watch the, uh, or click over to the redistricting website and begin to think about how we're going to redistrict this state. You as a citizen can participate in that by actually drawing the districts on that site. I want you to look at that, uh, floridaredistricting.org. Um, Look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks so much.